Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we understand that what is the key attribute in the React and how to avoid warning of keys. Okay, now in this lecture, we're gonna discuss one more important thing that everyone who is working in React or wants to work with React must know, and that are React props. Okay, so what are props? So props are the argument passed into React components, and props are passed to components via HTML attribute. In this lecture, we will see how prop works. So let's start. First, come to your project directory and create a new component file and name that uh, component as question detail dot jsx. Okay, so into the components directory, okay, create a new component and save this component file as question detail detail dot jsx. Okay. Now we need to implement this component. Okay, so just come to the question list dot jsx and from this component, just copy these lines because as we know that we need to import react and react them in our every component and now implement this component. So const and provide the question name a component name here. So question detail. Okay, and then the user syntax follow it. And now just add the return statement and the empty return statement. Do not write anything into it for now. Okay. And then export default question detail. So export default and then question detail. Okay. Save it. Just implement this component at this stage only and let now let's import this component into the question list component. Okay, because we will use props into question detail component. Okay, and we will pass that prop through question list component. Okay, so now let's come to the question list. Okay, and import the question detail. Okay, so what we can do. So go to the question uh, welcome.jsx component and just copy this line and paste it into the question list and we will use the question detail here okay okay so let's write detail okay however if you wish you can just uh, write this line from scratch or you can avoid the copy paste of this line okay now we need to render this question detail component into the question list map iterator okay so we need to do some more changes into our question list component so first minimize this question list array okay and we need to here you can see that we are iterating the question list array here okay and inside this loop what we are doing or inside this map iterator what we are doing we are displaying this question every question into this card element okay now what we need to do so we need to render our question detail component here okay so let's add question detail component okay so what we can do just like you can see into the welcome.jsx that what we did here that we are using rendering this question list component into welcome component and similarly we need to render this question detail component into our question list component okay so just provide the name so you can write question detail okay and then a space okay and close this component okay and now we need to remove this div card div from question list component and just to cut this okay and paste this inside the question detail jsx return statement okay so here we need to add our question detail card okay so you can add it here now don't save it for now okay and now we need to pass the argument from this question list component to this question detail component okay here you can see that we are fetching the question dot id question dot title question dot tag but the question is not defined in this question detail component so we need to pass this question as a property from question list component okay so what we can add here we need to add question equal to question okay so just add the curly braces here and pass this question okay. save this and now into the question detail dot jsx what you need to do you need to add props here okay and then you can add now before adding props anymore in this question detail you can see this is the props or this is the property that you are passing from question list component to question detail component okay or you are passing a property from the parent component to the child component here 
question list is a parent component because it is iterating the question list and in every iteration you are rendering the question detail component okay so you are passing the prop of question into the question detail component okay and now what we need to do here you cannot accept the question dot id or question dot title and question dot tag okay you just need to use props okay so you can do props dot question dot id and then props dot question dot title and then props dot question dot tag okay now you need to save this okay so you save the file and the question list is also saved so just make sure to save it once again and now come to the browser and refresh your page and when you refresh your page you will see the exact list of questions here on the browser okay but here you can see we are seeing again the warning that each child in a list should have a unique key group okay and that is the warning that we removed in the last lecture now let me tell you that why we are seeing this key error again even if we even we removed that into the last lecture okay so here you can see now that this element is unique now okay for this component okay we are iterating it inside the question list but we are not iterating this html element we are iterating this component element okay so we need to remove the key attribute from here and we need to place this key attribute inside this rendering component okay so what we need to do here let's add key here and here you can use question dot id question dot id and now if you save this refresh your browser and you will see that the warning has disappeared now so this is how you need to handle your keys so when you are it iterating components or you are using components inside the uh, iterator okay then you need to provide key attribute to the component or custom react a uh, custom html attributes okay if you are iterating the entire div element then you need to provide the key attribute to that particular div element here you can clearly see that we removed the key attribute from this card element and we added that key attribute inside the question detail okay so what we cover in this lecture that we understand that how to use props and what are props ultimately and how to pass props from parent component to child component and how to use them inside the child component and that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we will do some more practice with components okay till then try this lecture at your end and let me know if you have any confusion with props okay also to get more better with react components create different components and repeat the same process with it this will definitely help you in learning the react components quickly and in much better way okay and i also wanted to tell you one thing that since this course is not intent intended to learn react only since because we need to work a lot into the rails as well okay so that's why i'm not explaining the react concepts like props and components in too much detail so if you want to learn in learn the react in more detail then you can do it yourself by looking at different sites and other youtube videos okay but my purpose was to explain the react that is much enough to go with the react and rails okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata Goodbye, take care, stay safe.